It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Lidl and it's a part of their Hatherwood Craft Beer Company. I'm going to say series of beers because it's not an actual brewery, it's contract brewed. Uh, it's the Green Gecko IPA and it's coming in at 5% ABV. Looking forward to this one, there's the bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke. Look at the smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. As I'm aware, these beers are brewed by, well there's two breweries that people tell me. I asked the question in the comments box, Hathawood Craft Beer Company, um, where is it brewed? Who contract brews this beer? In the comments, some people say Marston's, some people say Shepherd Neem. Uh, we've got a two finger white head, it's a golden amber coloured ale. Clear to look at, slow moving carbonation. Uh, let's get the aroma. More of a traditional malt base uh, to this IPA, but with a, I'd say with a kind of a new world style aroma for the hops. So, Traditional kind of malt, biscuity, kind of bready, English ale background to the beer with the malt. And then they've swapped the hops out, which would have traditionally been Fuggles and um, Styrian Goldins. And replaced them with maybe some Cascade. I've not looked at the back of the bottle. Maybe we can we can have a look at that in a moment, and well, we will have a look at that in a moment. But I'd like to go into the beer reviews blind. I don't like knowing too much about the beer. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Well, there's a giveaway there on the on the neck of the bottle, uh, bursting with American hops. This was one pounds twenty five in my local little supermarket. So ultra cheap beer. It's quite, it's quite a kind of potent, aggressive bitterness on the back end. It really almost like grabs hold of the inside of your throat. A, a bit like, well, I mean, wow. They've used, they've used all of the American hops, I would say, in this beer, in the boil. They put a lot of these hops in the boil. It's really, and what you do when you, when you kind of rigorously boil that American hop, you, you, you're drawing out all of that, that bitterness. Whereas if you double dry hop a beer or if you dry hop a beer, it's done, you get more, much more of the flavor from the hop. Um, it must be just the process, it must be just what what Lidl wanted. It's really, really bitter. Biscuit malts coming through, light kind of wafery type flavours coming through from the malt and then there's some breadiness and biscuitiness coming through. For the price, 
for that one pound twenty five it it's a good effort it's a good effort it's it's always gonna be kind of limited into into you know it, it's never gonna be a premium 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 pre ale premium premium ale is it it's gonna be it's gonna be done on a on a shoestring if you like it's gonna be done on a budget but The question is, and this is my question, and I, I, I shop in Lidl quite a bit. As you know, you always see stuff on the channel from, from Lidl's, uh, food reviews, beer reviews. Um, the question is for me, and my taste, and this is the question you need to ask yourselves really, is would you pick up this over the kind of this staple kind of Pearl and Backer Patronus, which is the same price, £1.25. And it's kind of, that's an excellent, pardon me, an excellent, excellent example of a vice beer. I really, really, really like that vice beer. So last year, I went on holiday to Tembi and didn't have too much cash, to be honest. We had a day out in Heatherton, go-kart, and I think some of you might have seen the video. Um, we, you know, we we budgeted for the whole holiday and the, and the budget was that we could have a couple of pints in a pub in the afternoon, buy the kids some Cokes or whatever, um, small meal. And then we would go back to the caravan where we were staying and and drink some beer around and play cards and just have just have a relaxing time. And so that involved me going in the budget, that involved me going to Lidl and picking up um, a load of their beer. And I picked up a load of their Pearl and Backer. Literally, I was going back and forth to Pembroke Dock where the Lidl was. And I was picking up about six to eight bottles a day. Um, for to, to, to enjoy me and the wife we'd have four bottles each that's eight bottles we, we, we'd enjoy ourselves as you do you're on holiday would I supplement would I would I swap out a couple of my pearl and backers for this green gecko IPA I'm trying to think at the end of the holiday did I get bored of drinking so much vice beer I don't think I did I don't think I did but then again I could swap out one, one maybe, or maybe add it, maybe have that cheeky fifth beer of the night and, and, and have an IPA at the end of the night. It, it's okay, it's okay. A little bit of grapefruit flavour, a little bit of sweetness coming through. It's all in the bitterness, it's a, it's a massively aggressive kind of bitter finish. If, if you're into that sort of thing, you, you probably like this beer. Um, uh, this Green Gecko IPA is a tropical thunderstorm of big flavour American hops with a distinctive lemon and grapefruit finish. This unblinking classic is underpinned by a subtle malt taste allowing the bold exploration of fr uh, frontier flavours. So they've not given off the hops uh, or, or whatnot in here. Um, I'd like to know. Comment again, is it Marston's, is it Shepherd Neem that produced this beer? It's okay, if, you, if you're a, a massive fan, on the other hand this is, if you're a massive fan of, of your, kind of your double dry hopped, um, juicy pale ales, IPAs, then this may not be for you. I like it enough. See, in my mind I'm thinking they put quite a lot of hops in this beer. And if they just swapped out the process from boiling the hops, putting the hops in the boil, taking them out and, and using them to double dry hop to when the when the beer is not boiling itself and, and and you're getting all them astringent kind of bitter flavours out of the out of the hops. Why don't they just put them in the in the dry hopping process and make, you know and, and make a make a more subtle but flavoursome IPA? That would be my my criticism of this beer. I think I could only drink one. Uh, it's quite bitter for my, you know, it's a really astringent bitterness coming through. I like it enough to give it a seven out of 10. 
So 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.